I, I guess, you know, there's a lot of stories for the day, but the, the best one is how many freshmen pitched for us. And it was exciting. I, I don't think Will was quite as sharp as he was last week, but, um, you know, Will, Will pitched well early. Uh, Ross Mitchell has done a great job two times in a row. Jonathan Holder was very good for us. Brandon Woodruff gets his, you know, his first inning uh, as a Bulldog on the mound. And, and you know, his stuff at, at some point in time is going to be as good as anybody in this league. And, Jacob Lindgren continues to do a great job for us in relief, and, and Tanner Gaines came out and pitched, pitched very well for us too. You know, the only thing about this game that was sloppy that you know, you're concerned about is not being aggressive defensively on the infield. And, you know, we, we had a couple of gaps there, but uh, I, I think, I really believe Matthew Britton for it's all said and done is going to be a great, great infield for us. But right now, you know, the game's punching him in the face a little bit, and, and we've got some work to do there. But, uh, you know, outside of that, I was really pleased with what, what we did today. I didn't expect this to be a big offensive team, but still it's always good to put up a bunch of runs just to get some guys loose. Yeah, you know, what's really weird about our, our team is, you know, sometimes I read things that, that are said, and you guys say, well, they're not a very physical group, and I go, you know, Hunter Renfro's not physical, Wes Ray's not physical, Mitch Slaughter's not I mean, it goes on and on and on. Which one is to have a nice recipe of guys who can run and guys who can hit out of the ballpark? And certainly, you know, CT's not a home run guy. But it's amazing how much more power he has when he doesn't try and do too much. And I thought that was the key to his day. And he's been working on that, just not trying to get too big with his swing and just, just squaring it off. He's got really quick hands and, and a great eye at the plate. And when he just gets effortless, the ball jumps off the barrel. This team's gotten so used to bouncing back. I mean, Winston comes out and well, yeah, today we did. Today we took good swings, and you know how it works in this game. You can hit, you can hit ten line drives right in a row at somebody, and then you're in the middle of a, a tight ball game. But today balls fell for us. And I think the key to our whole club is how often we get to the middle of the field. If you see us hitting balls in the middle of the field, we're going to have some success, and we were, we were able to do that today. Two midweek games coming up, another weekend series, a lot of games on the day. Yeah, you know, when, when we had this opportunity to play Penn State in the middle because of their spring break, we just couldn't pass it off. You know, Butch is looking at me like, really, we're going to play four and then two in the middle? You know, what do we do? You know, and, and he was right, but I, I looked at Butch and said, man, how do you turn down a chance to play a Penn State in, in our area? You know, a, a great athletic department, great tradition, and, um, and they have a lot of athletes on their ball club, so they're going to be a tremendous challenge for us, and you know, they'll have some big physical guys who can pitch, and yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to be a little short on the mound because we threw so many guys this weekend, but we got to figure out a way to navigate it, and Holy Rain is going to have to get us deep, deeper into one of those games, and uh, you know, I, I, we think for now uh, Woodruff is going to be the guy that's going to start uh, on Wednesday, so you know, hopefully we can get deeper starts and, and go an inning at a time after that. Do you think Brownlee and uh, Porter for us? Yeah, I think those guys could have played. I just didn't want to do it. You know, Polio can run around out there and catch a fly ball for us. And if it was a tight game, I would have put Brownlee out there and asked him to catch a fly ball for us in the, in the eighth and ninth inning, but we didn't have to. Um, Mitch could have, I'm, I'm sorry, um, Porter could have played today. It, it just it just wasn't able to. I just didn't like the way he was running around and he was lobbying to play, but I just felt like that would have been a mistake this early in the season. He, he really crushed the ball off his shin and it just didn't look good. I think he'll be ready to go Tuesday and Wednesday. I think Brent will too, so having an extra day will really help those guys.